खेल और फिटनेस पर भारत के सबसे बड़े क्विज फिट इंडिया क्विज में आपका स्वागत है आज हम ओडिशा में हैं। ओडिशा श्री जगन्नाथ मंदिर कुनार्क मंदिर और चिलिका लेक के लिए प्रसिद्ध है ओडिशा में हॉकी ट्रैक एंड फील्ड टेनिस और रग्बी सबसे ज्यादा लोकप्रिय खेल है ट्रैक एंड फील्ड में ड्यूटी चंद और वही हॉकी में अनुपा बर्ला और नमिता टोपो ओडिशा के सबसे लोकप्रिय खिलाड़ी हैं। फिट इंडिया क्विज में आज ओडिशा के चार विद्यालय एक दूसरे से कड़ा मुकाबला करेंगे तो बिना देर किए आइए शुरू करते हैं क्विज का रोमांचक दौर Namaskar and welcome once more to this episode of the Fit India Quiz. We are bringing you today the second semi-final from Odisha. With a total cash award of 3.25 crores, the Fit India Quiz is presented by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and supported by the Ministry of Education. As you are all aware, India assumed the presidency of G20 last year, and this year we are convening the G20 Leaders Summit throughout the country. It also marks the beginning of Amrit Kal, that 25-year period that started with our uh, 75th anniversary celebrations of independence and will lead into the centenary celebrations on 15th August 2047. In its second edition the Fit India quiz has seen participation from 61981 students from 16702 schools spread over 702 districts of India. Today we are in Odisha with the second semi final. Let's move on and meet our four teams for today's event. Sabhi ko mera namaskar. My name is Anshuman Hota and I am I am a student of class 9. My favorite sport is football and the person who inspires me the most is my mother. Hello everyone, myself Siddesh Mahapatra and I am from class 10. My favorite sport is cricket and my favorite sports person is none other than MS Dhoni. Hello everyone, I am Devangshu. I am student of class 11. I love to play football and my favorite footballer is Neymar. Hello everyone, my name is Aishman Behra. I am student of standard 12 and my favorite sport is football. and my favorite sports person is leonel messi namaste everyone myself abhilash mehr i read in class 10 my favorite sports is cricket and my favorite sports person are rohit sharma and abd billiers hello everyone i am anubhav mehr i read in class 10 and i like cricket and my favorite sports person is virat kohli namaskar myself arijit sahu studied in class 12 from jnb puri and my favorite sports is badminton and my favorite uh, sports person is ms dhoni hello everyone i am satyeshwar nayak of class 12 my favorite sports is cricket and football and my favorite sports person is abd villiers let's move into our first round which is called get In our first round we will be asking the teams four questions and as i said earlier these will be on the buzzer so get ready to press the buzzer but don't do it until i tell you that your buzzers are live because if you press too early your buzzer will not be recorded all right once you've been you've pressed the buzzers wait to be identified i will tell you the name of the team that has pressed the buzzer first give us an answer immediately Remember there are no negatives so even if you're not sure you should try and press the buzzer to score points right up front If you're all set teams let's get into question number 1 for round number 1 Coming up on your screen here it is Identify this famous sports person famous Indian sports person The letters that spell out the name are G N U H C I A B first name A I T U H B second name Your time to buzz starts now And the first team to press the buzzer is J and V Konark uh, Orijit and Swetaspad unmute yourselves and tell us your answer Sir is Baichung Bhutia 
Bai Chung Bhutia, the football player. Let us see if that gets you a hundred points. And Bai Chung Bhutia is spot on. You've got that goal with the first question. Well done, hundred points to Team D. And let's move to question number two. Coming up on your screens, here it is. Name this famous football team. The first name is spelt out by D R E W E R. Second name with N E M B E R. Your buzzers go live now. And once again, it is Team D, J N V Konark with the buzzer first. Unmute, answer, get points. Uh, J N V Konark buzzed first, but have not given us an answer. So I'm afraid that question gets them no points because they have not given us an answer. Let us tell you that the correct answer is a team from the German football league, the Bundesliga. It is Werder Bremen. Werder Bremen is the correct answer there. Let's move ahead to question number three. Coming up on your screens, identify this famous tennis player. First name spelt out by P R A C E S. And the second name with D U R U. Your buzzers go live now. And it's J N V Konark with the buzzer once again. They're not giving up. Answer, please, J N V Konark. No answer once again, J N V Konark. You're making a habit of this buzzing fast and not giving an answer. Uh, I'll give you the answer, the correct answer to this question. Here it is on your screens. One of the best players in the world right now. It's Casper Ruud. Casper Ruud was the correct answer there. So no points once again to Konark. And question number four coming up on your screens. Other teams, press the buzzer fast if you want to answer. Identify this famous cricketer and long sets of letters. N A R K U M A N A S H H A T first name T R H R W E S A N S second name buzzers go live now <coughs> this time it's government boys high school barpali with the buzzer first anubhav and abhilash what is your answer kumar nath srisant kumar Nath Kumar Nath Shri Sant. I'm afraid I can't give you points because you left out a lot of letters. Let us show you what the correct answer is, and then you will know why you weren't correct. It's Shanta Kumaran Sri Sant. So you got part of the name right, but you have to get the full name correct. Shanta Kumaran Sri Sant. The correct answer there. The fast bowler who played for India. with uh, a lot of success in his time that brings us to the end of our first round let's take a look at the scores one round over three teams not off the mark and jnv konark the only team to have scored points they got the first question right and they are in the lead right now with 100 points as you're all aware the fit india movement was launched on 29th august 2019 by our prime minister shri narendra modi with a view to make fitness an integral part of our daily lives the mission of the fit india movement is to bring about a behavioral change and move towards a more active lifestyle for all indians our prime minister has given this mantra fitness ki dose aadha ghanta roz let's take a look at this video fit rehna utna mushkil kaam nahi hai जितना कुछ लोगों को लगता है फिटनेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज इस मंत्र में सभी का स्वास्थ्य सभी का सुख छिपा हुआ है
रेमडेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज एंड नाउ वी हेड इन टू राउंड टू विच वी कॉल सेट In this round every team will be shown a set of six subjects or themes from which you will choose one. We will then give you a question. If you answer it correctly you get 100 points. If you don't know the answer we have two helplines available. The first helpline gives you options for the answer and the second helpline will swap the question. We will give you a replacement question from the same theme or subject. In either case if you use the helpline you will get get uh, 50 points if you give us the correct answer but if you give us a wrong answer you get no points there are no negative marks for giving a wrong answer so please feel free to guess and try and score points all right we begin this round with team a dav public school burla your themes your subjects coming up on screen here they are cricket fitness health and nutrition football indoor and traditional sports mixed bag and multi sport events what would you like dav burla sir we would like to choose football football for team a let's mark their chosen subject and give them their question here it is on your screens which english premier league clubs fans are known as the tractor boys You know that the English Premier League has many clubs, and each of those clubs has its own fan following. A lot of times, the fans are given names, and this club's fans are called Tractor Boys. Which club is it? If you're not sure, there are always the two helplines. Sir, we would like to take the helpline. Okay, you want a helpline? Let us give them the helpline of their choice. Which one do you like? the sir, sir. options or swap the question sir swap the question let us swap the question and give them a new question on football which country's national football side is also known as jatiyo dol meaning national team in the local language 50 points now if you get it right dav burla sir bangladesh bangladesh they ask and uh, let us see if that is the correct answer it is absolutely correct well done 50 points to dav public school burla team a and they get on to the score sheet as well with that correct answer let's now move on to team b dav paradeep dav ppl township here are your subjects what do you choose sir fitness health and nutrition fitness health and nutrition for team b mark it please and give them their question here is your question for 100 points to begin with every year 7th april marks world health day what focus theme depicted in this visual was announced by the world health organization on this day in 2023 you can see the graphic for uh the world health day on your screens what was the theme that is shown in this visual that was illustrated by this graphic the theme for 2023 dav paradeep uh, epl sir, township would you sir, need a helpline yes sir Okay you have two helplines options the answer or swap the question which do you want sir show options swap the question show options or swap the question sir show the options show the options is what they have asked for let us give them three options now you have theoretically one in three chances of getting it right your options are a health equity b health for all or c mental health what was the theme for 2023 sir health equity option a option a health equity says dav public school ppl township let us see if that gets them 50 points 
Unfortunately, not. The correct answer is health for all. The correct answer there was health for all. So no points in this round, uh, Team B. Let's move ahead to Team C, Government Boys High School, Barpali. Sir, cricket. Cricket for the twins from Barpali. Let us mark it and give them their question. Identify the fielding position that has been encircled. On your screen, you see a fielding position. The black dot is the batter. The white dot with an arrow is the bowler. You can see the leg side is marked and the off side is marked. So basically, it is one of the fielding positions close to the batsman and a little to the side. You can see various other dots that will help you correctly identify this fielding position. Sir, option. Okay, options is what Team C has asked for. They want a helpline. Let's help them. Three options, please. Here they are. First slip, second slip, third slip. You can see multiple third dots slip. there. Third slip, third slip, C, third slip is what Team C is going for. Is that Are you going for C because you are Team C or... Uh, are you quite sure, having seen the graphic and seeing the options, uh, what the answer is? They've asked for C third slip. Let us tell them whether they are right or not. Is correct. Third slip is the answer there. And you can make out the position of the wicket keeper and you can make out the two dots that indicate first and second slip. And the one that is circled is third slip. Well done, Team C. You've picked up 50 points. Let's move to Team D. JNV Konark. Six, Six up on screen. Cricket is what they have chosen. Let us mark cricket for Team D as well and give them their question. Which team did India beat in a one-off match to register its first win in T20 international cricket? India ne apna jo pehla T20 match Hila, jo jita, usme kis team ko haraya tha? First win in T20 international cricket for India. It was a one-off match. Matlab series nahi tha, it was a single match. Which team did we beat? So want to use the helpline. They want a helpline as well. So four in a row, all four teams have gone for the helpline. And that is exactly why we have it for you. Which helpline do you want, JNV Konar? Konsa helpline? Chai? Sorry? Flip the question. You want to swap the question? Uh, swap question wala helpline manga hai, JNV Konar ne. Let us change their question and give them a different cricket question. And now for 50 points, ye raha aapka sawal. Which team did India beat in its opening match of the historic 1983 World Cup on the way to the title? You know, in 1983, in India, the first time in the World Cup in the first time in the World Cup. And in that we beat teams. But which team did India beat in the first match that we played in the 1983 World Cup? So West Indies. West Indies is their answer. Let us see if West Indies is correct. Does it get them 50 points? West Indies is absolutely correct. And if I'm not mistaken, we beat them by a total of 34 runs. 34 runs say we won the first match and we beat the mighty West Indies. It was a big shock for the entire world when India beat the West Indies in that game. Well done, JNV Konark, picking up 50 points to keep you in the lead. Let's, however, take a look at the official scoreboard to find out which team has how many points. And DAV Public School, PPL Township, Paradeep, not yet off the mark. DAV Public School, Burla, and Government Boys High School, Barpali, in second place with 50 points each. And still in the lead with 150 points now, JNV Konar. That was two rounds of our game up. 
we move to our third and final round, which is called Go. As we move into our exciting buzzer round, which is the third round, we also have something exciting for you, all the viewers. A holistic mobile application that makes staying fit and active really simple and easy. And guess what? It's absolutely free. The Fit India mobile app, which is available on the Play Store and the Apple Store, is the only app which allows you to measure your fitness parameters or your fitness scores with the fitness parameters that are based on age-appropriate protocols laid out by the WHO. You also have a lot of other features that can be customized only for you. Let's find out a little bit more about this exciting mobile phone app. Life may challenges kabhi bhi aur kahi bhi aa sakte hain aur hum inka achche se tabhi samna kar sakte hain jab hum taiyar hon inko face karne ke liye. Hum agar healthy aur fit hain to humari taiyari aur bhi behtar ho jati hai. Bas zarurat hai thodi si mehnat thode se anushasan ki. Presenting Fit India Mobile App Aapka fitness guide aur personal health trainer Pehli baar ab bharat ka har ek nagrik अपना फिटनेस कोर पता करके जान पाएगा कि वो कितना फिट है आप अपनी आयु के अनुसार अपने फिटनेस कोर की जांच कर सकते हैं ये सुविधा खास आपके लिए पहली बार शुरू की जा रही है ये ऐप आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को ट्रैक कर सारा डेटा स्टोर करता है ताकि आप अपनी प्रोग्रेस देख सकें और फिट रहने के नए और आसान नुस्खे अपना पाए इस ऐप के साथ आप बन सकते हैं खुद के फिटनेस मास्टर उसके बाद हम आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को बनाने में आपकी मदद करेंगे फिटनेस की दुनिया में कदम रखें मोटिवेटेड रहें और अपडेटेड रहें और सबसे अच्छी बात है कि इन सारी सुविधाओं का लाभ आप पा सकते हैं एकदम फ्री बस अपने एंड्रॉइड और एप्पल डिवाइस पर हमारे ऐप का हिंदी और इंग्लिश वर्जन डाउनलोड करें और शुरू हो जाइए आपका फिट रहने का सपना अब है एक क्लिक दूर फिटनेस की डोज And now it's time for our third and final round, Go! In our third and final round, we have, as usual, a total of six questions for the team. These questions are open on the buzzer. Once I have asked the questions, I will give you the cue to press your buzzers. I will tell you that your buzzers go live now. Then the teams, you need to press your buzzers. Remember to wait for the queue. Once buzzers are pressed, we will identify the team that has pressed the buzzer first. Wait to be identified so you don't inadvertently, by mistake, give the answer away to a team that pressed before you. So if you're all ready, remember that if you give a correct answer this time, you get plus 50 points. But if you give a wrong answer or if you buzz and don't give an answer, JNV Konark, your tactics in first round will not be good here. Because if you don't give an answer, after buzzing, you will lose points. Total of 300 points can be won or lost in this round. So it's still anybody's game. Okay, there's very little to choose between the teams. If you're all ready, let's begin round number three. Here is the first question of our third and final round coming up on your screens now. What animal was Millie, one of the mascots of the 2000 Sydney Olympics? Your buzzers go live now. And this time round, the risk of losing 50 points on a wrong answer is very great. None of the teams going for the buzzer. Let us give them the answer. Here it is on screen. Millie which was an echidna. An echidna, which is a spiny anteater found only in Australia. And uh, Millie actually stood for millennium because 2000 was the Millennium Olympics, as it was called and held in Sydney. Okay, let's go to question number two and see how many points are scored. Which watch company is the official timekeeper of the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament? Your buzzers go live now. 
And this time it's team B, DAV Public School, PPL Township, and the buzzer first. What is your answer, team B? Sir, Rolex. Rolex, they say. Is that correct? Rolex is correct. You picked up 50 points there. Well done, team B. You've got onto the scoreboard also. Remember, teams, the first two spots in this semi-final will make it through into the Odisha State Final. So you need not be the winning team. You could be the team in second place. But it always helps to make it through without any uh, doubt and win the quiz because then you know definitely that you're going through. But the team that comes second here will also be making it through to the final and will get to compete once again for the title of Odisha State Champion. Question number three coming up on screen. Which resort town in the Krasnodar region of Russia was the host of the 2014 Winter Olympics? Your buzzers go live now. Or ek bar phir, 50 points khone ka risk pohut zada teams ke liye. None of them going for the buzzer. Let us close the question and give them the answer. The 2014 Winter Olympics were held in the resort town of Sochi. Sochi, which is in the Krasnodar region of Russia. That is our third question. Let's go to question number four. Which Greek goddess is depicted on the medals awarded at the Olympic Games? Your buzzers go live now. Olympic Games में जो medals दिए जाते हैं, पदक जो दिए जाते हैं, उसमें किस Greek goddess या Devi को दर्शाया जाता है? And it is Team A, DAV Burla with the buzzer this time round. Team A, unmute and tell us your answer. Unmute, please. Yeah. Burla, your answer. Sir, Hestia. Hestia, they say. Is that the correct answer? Let us show them the correct answer and see if we give them 50 points or we take away 50 points in this case. The correct answer is Nike. Nike is the goddess of victory and therefore the winners get an image of Nike on the medal. And with that, we move into our fifth question. The fifth question of our quiz, the penultimate question, barring a tie for the first two places. Here it is coming on screen. Of which Olympic Games was Kobe, a cubist rendition of a Pyrenean mountain dog, the mascot? Your buzzers go live now. And once again, the question goes unanswered, unbuzzed for. Let us show the correct answer to the teams. Cubism was created by the Spanish artist Pablo Picasso. And the games were held in Barcelona in 1992. 1992 Barcelona ke Olympic khel the jinka mascot Kobe tha. That was question number five. Let's go to question number six. And the sixth and final question of our third round. Here it is. 6.21 million of what common objects were recycled to make the medals for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics? This was the result of a nationwide campaign. Your buzzers go live now. And it's Team D, JNV Konark with the buzzer for the last time in this round. Sir, can? Sorry? Can. Can. Yes, sir. Can is what they say. Is that the correct answer? Let us... Show them the correct answer and tell them whether they're right or not. No, it is mobile phones. You know that mobile phones are full of precious metals like gold, silver, vanadium, palladium. There metals hote hain unme. And unko donate kiya tha logo ne, uh, to the cause of recycling to reduce the carbon footprint of the Olympic Games. So that was the correct answer. Minus 50 to Team D, JNV Konark on the last question of the third round. 
Let's take a look at the scores and see which team has scored how many points. And the scores at the end of our third and final round. DAV Public School Burla lost points in our third round and end up with zero points. Government Boys High School Barpali and DAV Public School PPL Township Paradeep tied for second place with 50 points each. But winning this quiz with a small margin of 50 points, just at a score of 100, is Jawahar Navodaya Vidyale Konark. Uh, Arijit and Swetaspad, congratulations. You won the quiz. You made it through into the Odisha State Final. Thank you, sir. Which team will join you? We will find out with this tie break. Okay, teams, the tie break is only for team B and team C. Okay, other teams, sit back. Don't press your buzzers. And Team B and Team C, here is your tie-break question on your screens now. Which semi-precious stone, considered a sign of luck in China, was added to the Olympic medals for the 2008 Beijing Games? Your buzzers go live now. And neither of the teams hitting the buzzer because they don't know the answer and they don't want to risk dropping out of the competition. Let's close the question and give them the correct answer. Sahi Jawab is Sawal Ka Hai Jade. Jade is a semi precious stone which is considered a symbol of good fortune, good luck in China. Let us go to the next question on our tiebreak. And your next question is this. What name for a particular racket sport was created by the English firm J. Jakes and Son at the end of the 1800s? It was later trademarked by the Parker Brothers in USA. Your time to buzz starts now. And it's Team B, DAP Public School, PPL Township, Paradeep, that has hit the buzzer first. What is your answer there, Sir Squash. Squash, they say. Is that the correct answer? Let us see. The correct answer is ping pong. Ping pong, which is another name for table tennis, is the correct answer. So I'm afraid, DAV Public School, you buzzed and gave a wrong answer. Squash is also an indoor racket sport, but... It is played with a rubber ball and the ball can be squashed. That is why it gets its name, by the way. So, not squash, but ping pong, which is a more archaic or slightly older name for table tennis. It's not used very much anymore, partially because it is a trademark and cannot be used as freely now. So, Government Boys High School, Barpali, by virtue of not pressing that button, you make it through to the Odisha State Finals along with the winners of the quiz, Jawahar Navodaya Vidyale Konark. Let's take a look at the scores at the very end of this semi final in Odisha. Here it is the score sheet. So, DAV Public School Burla and DAV Public School PPL Township are out of the contest. Don't go by that score. DAV Public School, PPL Township, losing on the tie break, not ending up with zero. That's only to give a position on the leader tally. And the teams that have made it through with 50 points, we have Government Boys High School, Barpali, and JNV Konark. The winners of our quiz today, Jawahar Navodaya Vidyale Konark, Arijit and Swetaspad. Congratulations, Arijit and Swetaspad. You have made it through into the state final. Well done. We'll see you again. And joining them in the Odisha state final are the two boys, twins from Government Boys High School, Barpali. We have Anubhav and Abhilash. Well done, both of you. That was the second semi-final for the state of Odisha. We will be back with another edition, with another episode, with another contest in the Fit India quiz. Which one it will be, you will find out only if you stay with us. So till we meet again the next time round, from us, it's goodbye. Stay smart, stay curious and stay fit India. 
नमस्कार